Hi, this is JF from Cataclysm, and you're watching Richard Metal Band. Richard Metal Band here, episode 11 with uh, Richard Metal Band Interviews, and I'm talking with uh, Jeff from Cataclysm. Jeff, how are you doing today? Good. It's so awesome to have you here. So we're well, well into the record cycle of your latest album, Concord. Concord, how's the record cycle been so far? Amazing. I mean, we released the album like a year ago, like right before the whole pandemic started. We were actually shooting the clip for the kill shot, and we were right here in the planet actually. Oh, awesome. It was kind of insane, like the digital camera. And then we were watching the news, and we saw the COVID thing for the first time. I was, I was shocked with this detail. <laughs> we were all talking, and then I came home, and we were in the air, like all this crazy stuff, and then we were like, okay, the show's getting canceled, the tour's getting canceled, all that. And we thought about postponing the record. The label was like, you guys should work. Much a, a strong underground family, and they they got the record, and I we did well on sales and all that, and now we're happy to finally get to promote it live. <laughs> And awesome. So, would you consider on Conquer just picking up where you left off after Meditations, or do you think it's kind of like a standout in the Cataclysm catalog? Well, I think it's like a, a step. Like, I'm, when, whenever we write music, we try to push ourselves to our limits and push, like, break our limits and try to try things are a little bit outside the box and a little bit the adding adding more colors and textures to the music we do. And I find on Conquer. As a as a little bit of a new edge to it, because like we started playing seven strings gu guitars, that was something new for us, and it I find it added a lot of new elements in the sound and things we couldn't do before with the normal guitars. So that was awesome for me to experiment with that, and I was like, hey, we can do this, we can do that, and look at that, like <laughs> the, the the big low tuning, and then. Uh, we wrote songs that fit in that kind of aspect and we added a bunch of new stuff like piano parts and like uh, background keys and, and things like that new way of arranging things and I, I guess it sounds a little bit modernized but at the same time we kept a lot of the old school stuff from the early days that we brought back like more blast beats more uh, uh, aggressiveness so it's kind of a, a, a melon like a mix of modern stuff with like super old school and i think that blend came out very well awesome so, so you guys have so many albums out now is it like really getting harder and harder to put a set list together yeah because you want to play like so many people are asking for different songs and uh like say for tonight we're playing 50 minutes as a as um, a support band for this tour so we can play maybe one out of every record, not even. <laughs> so we're trying to play like a, a two, three of the new album and then like some of the classics. And uh, and we try to switch the set lists around because it gets boring for us to always play the same stuff. So we'll do a tour, we'll have a list of songs, then we'll do another tour and scrap all that and try to play a bunch of other songs. And we have so many that kind of work well live. So makes everything easier for us to make a set list in that sense but it's still hard because it, we want to please uh, our fans and they're always asking for different stuff so that's that's uh, that's the harder part right All right is there like a usual formula that you guys stick with when it comes to making music or do you try to like maybe experiment with your sound yeah I, we, we try to one thing we try to do is to have every album sounding a little different and uh to, to play with different things and, and add different elements to it and, and stuff like that. And uh, even the, like I'm recording and producing all the records, but we try to get a different mixer every album right. to have a, to uh, add a different touch right. and see see what it would sound like, like with a different perspective. Right. Make sure everything's all even. Yes, out. so you can kind of have a, it, it brings a different, flavor to each album and uh, I, I like that a lot because you can pick every single one of our albums and it's totally cataclysm but different 
like it's a little bit different each one of them so uh, and yet you can tell it's us you can tell it's Mauricio's vocals and the, the way I play guitar and drum beats and, and that but we try to make it interesting for ourselves because I find writing music is one of my favorite parts of this whole process and I try I push myself really hard to come up with the most coolest riff I can find and the grooves and the melodies and stuff like that and uh, I, I, I think it's if you're a Cataclysm fan, you, you recognize that, and at the same time, it's always a little bit different from an album to another. All right, and you kind of mentioned the role of producer. Does like having a is there like a different mindset when playing playing music, like recording the guitars, and then being a producer? Is there like a, like two different like mind frames you gotta be in? Yeah, because when you're part of the band, you're kind of you have your vision of how things should be as. Like for instance, me as a guitar player, I, I know what kind of sound I want and things like that, and how I want this to go. But as a producer, you get the role of a little bit of the bad guy, being able to tell, like say I'm recording more too. I have to be able to tell him, okay, that sucked. Let's do it again. <laughs> and uh, if you don't want to offend the, the person, but like you try to be as true and honest as you can with, right. with what you hear. And uh, and that's that goes for every instrument, and you try to push the the. It's a, it's a little bit of a psychological thing. You try to push them, the the whoever you work with to perform better or give its best, and and uh, and that's what I that's what my role is as a producer, and also to make sure that everything we do is cohesive, and 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 it makes sense because everyone brings elements to the table but they have to blend together and, and make sure everything makes sense so that's i guess that's my role uh, when it comes to, to producing and uh but it gets a little harder when it's my own guys because of that like you don't want to offend or say something that does like and but sometimes you just have to put your foot down and say okay no this doesn't work or this this is great like let's roll with this and things like that Awesome. So hey, I got a couple more questions for you, if that's okay. So you ready for the hardest question? Yes. <laughs> How do you know when a song is done? Well, I, I think usually, like, we've been doing this long enough that we know. We look at each other, we're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> like, 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 and that, and that, that's, that's when you hit that moment that you're like, okay, in the can. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's the best answer I could give. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. And the final question I want to ask you, and this is my third time seeing you guys. I first saw you all on the Soulfly tour, and then you played here as part of the Slaughter Queue with with Exodus, uh, Crisian. And do you ever know? And now you're on this tour, Deicide. Like, how do you do you ever notice like a different like uh, uh, crowd reaction depending on like the different audiences and tours that you've been on? I find metal ads are metal ads, no matter where you uh, where, where you go on this earth or which band you tour with but then again like uh, sometimes you get audiences that are more like listening to what you're playing paying attention and some other times it comes it goes completely wild and you got like the the marsh pits and the stage divers and all that and i i guess it depends also on the group of age like sometimes you're playing with for an older audience, depending on the bands you tour with, and they're more likely to stand and appreciate the music and yell and drink their beers and <laughs> fist in the air. And then you go uh, sometimes with the younger crowd, like they're the ones that want to create havoc and, and turn the place upside down. So, but it's, it, I don't know, we, we played with some bands that are a little bit outside the box sometimes and that are not our genre at all. But I, I find metal is, kind of universal in a sense that like most people like come to a concert they want to have a good time and listen to some good music and it's always like a party in the at the end of the day and i think no matter no matter where it is on the planet it's it comes down to the same thing we just all want to have a good time us as musicians and the fans on in the, in the crowd and they want to see a good show and have a good time so we try to deliver our, on our end as much as we can and we feed from the energy of the of the crowd and there's this chemistry that happens and, uh, and I think that, that's what keeps me wanting to do this and playing music after all these years awesome so uh, before we go I just want to thank you for this first interview was just anything else you would like to promote with cataclysm in terms of hope we got if, if there's any new music coming out new tours anything well if uh, assuming knocking on wood that 
this COVID this stays COVID. stays stays in con <laughs> stays in control. We're, we're going to be out there touring a lot. And uh, the other thing I want to say, we just put out a record with our, our other band, Xdio, that or that's coming out in a few weeks. So check it out if you want to. We're I mean, we're excited about that as well. It's 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 coming out in a few weeks, and I think it's a great record. So we're we're gonna promote that as well somehow in the middle of all of this. <laughs> so anyway, thank thank you so much, man. Je Jeff from Cataclysm. We'll see you next time.